Well, this is uh, what's called a desktop replacement notebook. So it has des some desktop uh, components in it, like the CPU. So the same uh, CPU you would put into a tower machine, we can put into this laptop. And the video card itself, it has the same die as the desktop version of the video card, whatever it is. Uh, except it's, a, it's on an MXM module, so that it can be removed, replaced, upgraded. So uh, that's why it's called a desktop replacement. Uh, the chassis is, uh, the, the plastics are on the outside uh, to, to make it look nice and give it some structural rigidity, but inside there's an aluminum chassis that uh, makes sure it's not, it's rigid and it's not flexing and stuff that would damage the components inside. Three M.2 hard drives in here. There's a one terabyte uh, M.2 uh, Samsung 990 Pro. So we can have multiple hard drives here, all kind of lined up with each other. These are two of the four RAM slots. Two are here and the other two are underneath the uh, notebook on the other side, underneath the keyboard. Uh, easily accessed though the keyboard is very easy to get to. Under here, there is the video card. You can see it's covered by this heat sink and also the processor, which is also covered by the heat sink. And those are the two fans that keep everything cool and running. And um, that's it for the components underneath. You can find the CMOS battery here. These slots here that the end of the, uh, the actual drive goes into, or we call them hard drives, but they're SSDs actually. And there's a single screw that holds them all in. So all you have to do to remove one or put one in is remove this screw, pop it out. And this will actually just pop up and you pull it out and there's a single hard drive. And again, it can go into this slot, that slot, or that slot. It is important that a, a, a thermal pad is put underneath just to provide a bit of cooling because even though these have no moving parts, they can create a bit of heat. We'll put it back in, simply as that. You get everything out of the way, slide it in, lay it down, get the hard drive screw, put it in, and the hard drive is reinstalled. There is a spot, another spot here for another hard drive. Mm -hmm. So four in total. So eight times four. That's how much uh, hard drive space you can have. Okay, next is, these are the two of the RAM sticks. Like I said, two here, two underneath the keyboard. These come out really easily. There's just little clips that hold them in. It pops up, one's out, two's out. And again, the maximum is 128 gigs of RAM. So you put the bottom one in first, click it down, second one in, Click it down, RAM's installed. Easy as that. And there's the two sticks of RAM right there. And there's the wireless card. You have to take those two screws out, take that off. Next, we'll look underneath the heat sinks here. So we got a bunch of screws I got to take out to get everything off. So here we go. These four all over the uh, processor are spring-loaded. You can see there's a there's a small spring on there. It just uh, keeps you from uh, uh, damaging the CPU by putting the screws in unevenly. So the screws kind of keep it, uh, give you a little bit of uh, cushion there. To remove the light strip, remove the three screws located here. Lift the flap on the ribbon connector and disconnect the ribbon. There we go. There's the CPU. It's uh, currently it's locked down by this mechanism here. It's covered in thermal paste, which gives it a, a secure connection to the uh, heat sink. When the heat sink is on top of it, it helps it dissipate heat. And here is the video card. This is an MXM video card, so a couple of screws removed, slides up, and we can pop it out, we can replace it, we can upgrade it, we can do all sorts of stuff. And again, the die is covered with thermal paste because it's uh, connected to the uh, heat sink, which helps dissipate heat. And that's the thing that really creates the heat.
There's the GPU. And the CPU was removed by doing that, lifting that up, and then grabbing the CPU and, and uh, taking it out, which I'm not going to do because it's full of thermal paste and I don't want to be covered with thermal paste. Okay, so there, as you can see, there's spots for thermal pads here, but these thermal pads all go over important parts on the CPU and the GPU. So you can see as this lines up like that, all of these are covered with a heat with a thermal pad. These are covered with a thermal pad. These are covered with a thermal pad. So it just helps dissipate the heat from the actual video card or the uh, or the CPU in through the copper of the heatsink and then the fans blows the heat out the sides. When placing back the heatsink and cover, note that each screw is different. The longer screws are for the chassis, the shorter black screws are for the heatsink and keyboard. The screws for the GPU and CPU are also different. The GPU screws are narrow with a different thread. 